Hi, this is Gary Goldfarb and welcome to my life coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you are feeling good because today our quote of the day is, life is never made unbearable by circumstances but only by lack of meaning and purpose by Viktor Frankl. This was said by Viktor Frankl after suffering in the concentration camps during the Holocaust of the World War II. The same message was said slightly differently by, by Friedrich Nietzsche when he said, if you know the why, you can endure anyhow. Now, Viktor Frankl found meaning and purpose for his survival during the darkest hours in the concentration camps. He wanted to survive for his wife. He found meaning and purpose in his survival so that he could be of service, so he could be there for his wife after the war ended. Now, this meaning helped him to survive the perhaps most difficult reality of our era. In relationships, we sometimes have an imbalance when one side gives and gives and gives and the other takes and takes and takes. All it means is that the person taking and not willing to pay for what they get, in other words, is the wrong customer for the product. We have almost 8 billion people on the face of this earth. Surely, if you have a great passion for something and you want to share your gifts with others, there will be people who are willing to pay for it. You just have to find them. But in most cases, they will find you. When you are doing something for it to be successful, it must be in alignment with who you really are. Because whatever you do also impacts who you are. Whatever we are good at and have passion for is the contribution that we should be giving to society. We are happiest when we share our gifts. And isn't this what we all seek in life? Continuous and ongoing happiness? And this can only be achieved when we are involved with something that makes us feel happy on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is sharing our gifts with other people. When we share our gifts, we are really sharing love. And love is divinity. In the Jewish tradition, it is considered very highly spiritual when you convert someone back to the ways of the Torah, or in other words, back to the ways of God. When you share your gifts with the world, you are making a direct connection to your higher self. You received your gifts from the divine, and when you share these gifts with the world, you are in fact spreading divinity. And you, you have actually converted yourself back to the truth, back to the ways of God. We each have within us brilliance. It is of major importance that you find your brilliance and share it with the world. Your gifts could be in sports, in persuasion, in numbers, in nursing, in music, writing, teaching, influencing others, in physics, creativity, whatever. Your first job is to find your brilliance and share it with the world. Once you do that, you will have meaning and purpose behind what you spend most of your waking hours doing. And this will fill your heart and your life with happiness and will keep you happy and fulfilled. When you are in touch with your inner truth, uh, you will touch the inner truth of other people as well. And the more happy we are, the more uh, our hearts open up. And the more our hearts are open, we will uncover even more gifts that we have and these new gifts will suddenly unfold from within us. It is as if we are being told, I was checking you. I was checking you out. You did a good job. So here, take some more. We all have gifts to share. There is no one who does not have gifts to share. And when we share our gifts, we allow all of those that are, who are close to us to share their gifts as well. We give them permission to be who they really are without judgment or fear. When we are in the right place for ourselves, we gladly give the permission for other people who we care about to be in the right place for them and to let their own light shine through. We should do what we have a deep connection towards. Do what you love and you will get abundance in return. When I understood this law about 15 years ago, it totally transformed my view on my career. I, I saw myself as if I am sitting behind a service desk and I am working in service of other people with my boss being the Holy Spirit above. I would be paid my salary from the Holy Spirit while I gave service and, my shared, and shared my gifts 
with other people. And this changed my perspective and allowed real abundance to start to flow into my life. Since then, every time I, I have felt disconnected from this thought, I lost. And when I got back on track, the abundance came rolling back in. I'm a great believer in money as, as a spiritual tool. I believe that we should be making money. And the more money that you have, the more you can help and be of service to other people and reach more people. Having more money means that you simply have more to trade for the things that you desire. And when you desire to do good for the world, then the money is a very spiritual tool indeed. When you know that you have something to share with the world and you go ahead and share it, then you are in an abundance mindset. The mindset of abundance tells your subconscious mind that you have so much that you can give off some to other people. You have the mindset that there is no lack for you. You have more than you need, and this will always bring you back more, and you will always get the abundance that you are giving out. You cannot have deficiency in your life when you have a, an abundance mindset. They just don't work together. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that this will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, how can I add more meaning and purpose to my life by being more of service to other people? What are my gifts that I can share with the world? As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answers in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over your answers and see how they help you move your life to a better place for you. So to finish off with, the affirmation of the day is, I am living my life with meaning and purpose and abundance fills my life as I share my gifts with the world. I am living my life with meaning and purpose and abundance fills my life as I share my gifts with the world. Now, please tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button. Um, Please also, you feel free to comment. And if you have any questions, you can write them down in the comments for me as well. And please also visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.